This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. Good evening, I'm Desmond Saunders. Well, international credit ratings agency Moody's is calling for a strength in public spending. As it noted, government will miss the 1.8% deficit target set by the Fiscal Responsibility Act. Moody's adjusted the country's rating from negative to stable and noted while the $237 million deficit objective was possible, it would require additional spending cuts. Moody's forecasted the country's gross domestic product will grow by 1.9% this year. Financial Secretary Molly Johnson says there's been an increase in compliance with real property tax, but there's substantial work left to be done. He says a substantial announcement will be made soon on steps being taken to modernize how real property tax assessments are done and update the database of properties eligible for the tax. And in international business news, food shortages, major disruption to trade, and at least $17 billion in new costs for business are all being forecast as implications of a disorderly Brexit. According to an analysis published today by the UK government, the country isn't ready to leave the European Union on March 29th without a transitional deal. And with just over a month to go, the government still lacks parliamentary support for a divorce deal that would protect trade and other EU ties for nearly two years after Brexit, while a longer term arrangement is agreed. That was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Desmond Saunders. Good evening.